Mm, g'day, Tragic here, and welcome back to Arkham Horror. <laughs> we are fighting the Great Cthulhu and the Fire God that will burn all in four. It's a mind. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Anyway, uh, there was a big error last turn. I forgot to do the other world encounters at the end of the turn, so I'm just going to quickly do them now for Michael Glenn and catch. Akachi, whatever, that person. So he's at the City of the Great Race. Uh, that's other. You come across a slaughtered creature. Pass a luck minus one check to claim a monster trophy from the cup, even if it is endless, and gain two clue tokens. Well, that's pretty good. We have a luck of three, so that's two dice. We have no additions. I can't remember whether I've tapped this, so I'm going to say I already have, so I'm not going to be able to use that. And that's that. So roll two dice. Nice success on this would be cool. Two clues and an endless monster would be awesome. Beautiful. Nice work. So we get uh, two clues. Oop, uh, there we are. Two clues. And uh, wait. Uh, let's give that a shuffle. And I'll get a monster. You blonk. Oh, I just shog off. Bam, three. That is as good as we can get. And that means we... Oh, actually, it doesn't. If Michael has five or more monster trophies, not toughness value of five. But uh, that is awesome. So we need another two monster trophies for him. Yoink. Meanwhile, she is in the Great Hall of Selenio. A lurking monster appears. Fantastic. It's a flying polyp. Now, again, I can't remember whether I've used this spell and it's exhausted or not. So I'm just going to say it is, and I'm just going to do a sneak check on this. So the sneak value is zero. That means we only need a plus one to sneak. So anything modifying sneak up here? Nope. So we just need to roll one dice and hopefully we will sneak by this guy. You blamo. Come on. Come on. Okay, that's a fail. Ah, oh, this is not good. Come on. Not good. Very not good. Wow, this is a disaster. Well, we just spent all our clues. Hey, we finally get it at the end. Well, that was horrible. Anyway, we... Uh, have snuck past this monster. Wow, that was terrible. Okay, let's get on with this. Boom, it is actually his turn. So he is just going to move his fight up one with his focus, and then he's going to move back to the City of the Great Race, which is up here. And she is going to leave everything the same, and she's going to come back to the Great Hall of Selenio which is down here in the woods. Wow, that's really a f really annoying. Who, we have someone with tons of, ew, this person here has got Elder Science. Well, let me let me just do a little bit of planning. Okay, so this isn't too much of an issue. We'll, we'll, we'll deal with this when the time comes. She has a explored token, obviously, and so does he. Okay, anyway, back to Angie. We want to do some monster hunting as well. She needs three or more monster trophies. So she's just going to go one up to here and hunt this dude. She is in the same space as uh, George. So I think while she's there, she's going to take the 45 automatic. And your blammo. So, she is going to fight this guy. It has a negative one for its horror check. 
We are at plus six. So we are going to roll five. Uh, sorry, we're at three. So we're going to roll two dice for that. And we don't really care whether we pass this or not. But we do. So that's nothing. And then we're going to do wither, which is... Uh, a modifier of zero, no sanity cloth, so that's six die. Blemo. Okay, so we get three successes. Oh, she's already at maximum sanity, so we don't care. Anyway, so this gives us plus three to combat. So we are six combat, uh, four combat, because we are one fight plus three, but her ability also gives her, see that little hand icon that gets added, so we're actually five. And because it's one-handed, we can also use the automatic, which is another four. Takes us to nine, negative two, seven dice. Yeah, blammo, we need two successes. Hopefully we can do this. Yeah, boom, just. Okay, so he is dead. Yo boing. Okie dokie. Now, this guy here has a bazillion clues. He wants to get to Hibbs Roadhouse, which is here. So that is one, two, three, four. He's only got three movements, so he can't do that, can he? Oh, wait, he's actually got tons of movement, doesn't he? He's got plus two speed. So he's going to use his focus to go bam. He's then going to go one, two, three, four to Hibbs Roadhouse. Now, because he's moved four points, he takes one stamina hit for being out in the sun and Cthulhu sweltering heat bashes him. What has he got here? Nothing else going on. Oh, yes, he does. He's got his task. He's at the Hibbs Roadhouse. So that gets the last task. It's now fulfilled. There's no cost. He doesn't have to discard anything. He just gains eight buckaroonies. So that is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, blam. Okay, Yorick. What's Yorick need? He needs to be blessed. I was going to park him at the South Church for a while until I can figure out what the hell to do with him. Uh, I think he'll just put his will up by one. Okay, this girl here, she's going to get two coins. And then she rolls for her retainer. Which she passes. She just discards it on a one. And she's going to go one, two, three, four to here. That also gives her one sanity hit. While she's here, she's going to go gate box and elder sign and give that to Daisy. Oh, she has a speed of five. That's crazy. Does she have any tomes or anything? Oh, and root it? No, she doesn't. Okay, now Daisy's turn. So the first thing she does is roll for voice of Ra because it's basically a free roll. She doesn't pay sanity costs, so this is such a good spell for her. And she fails, which is terribly annoying. She's got the Necromonicon, so she needs one, two, three. So she's got to go one, two, three. That means she's got four, five, six movement left. I mean, she can do one of these. We'll do the Necromonicon, which is law minus two. So her law is really high. It's ridiculously high. She starts with five. We didn't get Voice of Ra, unfortunately. We also have this guy here. It's another plus two. I thought we had more than that. Whatever. So that is seven die minus two. We still have five die to hit this. This is all still in the movement phase, remember? We get a pass. 
So he gets to draw one spell. Your boink. Mist of Reliar. Okay, so still in the movement phase. We're going to give Mist of Reliar, Gate Box, and the Elder Sign to this girl over here. And we're also going to cast Bless. And I think, who shall I bless? I guess I could bless Loric, but I, if I remember right, his his uh, his result for his story is so lame. It's not worth blessing him just for it. Uh, let's just have a look. Okay, so he get he goes mad, or he gets his his values reduced, or he gets his focus increased. Either way, not too cool. I think oh, I may as well do it. So we're going to cast Bless. You may cast and discard. Oh, this is supposed to be done during our upkeep. Doesn't matter. Makes no difference. Uh, so this is negative one to the modifier. So we are seven minus one is six die. That gives us one sanity hit. It's the first time she's taken a sanity loss from a spell because she only gets it reduced by one. Okay, and that is a pass. This gets discarded. This bloke is blessed. You blam. And that also completes this. Yoink. When William dug up the first corpse, he couldn't believe what he was seeing. He put it in the shed for safekeeping anyhow. When he found the second corpse, he began to get a little worried, but he put it in the shed with the other one. After the third corpse turned up, William decided that he was going to have to talk to Father Michael about them. After all, the shed was getting kind of crowded. If William is blessed, place heaven and earth in play. It seems as though the world is a much stranger place than I have ever imagined. Will's focus is increased by one. So he now has two focus instead of one. And since I blessed him, I probably didn't need to just leave him in here. I probably could have sent him somewhere else. Uh, let's go to Mars boarding house. No, I don't know where to, where, I don't know where to send him. I'm going to leave. I will just leave him there. Okay. And now George's turn. Now George, he needs to kill a cultist. There's still no cultist on the table. There's no point of him going to the general store because we have this mythos card that's reducing our draws so i think he's going to go one two three to the curiosity shop has he got any money no he's only got two dollars uh how's his sanity is all right stamina is pretty bad i'm going to go one two into vel's dimer see if we can get a sanity back and that be it my friends so it's now the thing I phase. We'll do Michael Glenn. He's first. He's going to roll five die. He's got a modifier of zero. And we're looking for one success. To close this gate, y'all. Oh, and that's an easy close. Yoink. He's also going to spend one, two, three, four, five. And seal it. your book okay so that's sealed we do not remove a doom token though because we didn't use an elder sign okay she is going to use a uh she's got we've got the gate box she's going to use the elder sign she picked up well she was traded and that's a one sanity one stamina your blammo this is also sealed. But we did use an elder sign, so we get to destroy one of the uh, Doom Tokens. Ooh, why isn't this... Oh, this is an old version of the mod, so the hotkey's not working on the Doom Tokens, or whatevs. Okay, and that's that done. She now has two. We need one more 
of these uh, gates for her. Angie is in the street, so nothing. Uh, this bloke is at Hibbs Roadhouse. A horrible monster appears. And it's a Bayaki, your blammo. Okay, so this is a negative one to Will. We have only one Will, I believe. He ignores nightmarish. Yeah, so nothing of here of interest. Yeah, so he rolls one die. That's a miss. I'm just going to let this go through. It's only one sanity. And then he's going to attack this guy back. He has a fight of three. He has the magical weapon, which is plus four. He also has the axe, which is another plus two, which is the same as six. So it's the same as the Tommy gun. I should trade that off him. And it's got a zero modifier. So your blammo, we only need one hit. Easy. And this guy is also dead. You blonk. Okay. Now we have South Church. You enter the prof you enter the confessional. Bless me, Father, for I have sinned. Make a luck zero check. His luck is four. So that's four blessed dice. We get two. Two plus, I don't remember my last confession. Raise your sanity to its maximum value. He's already at maximum. What a waste. Now, over here, she is at the library. Yoink. If you have a tome from the unique item deck, we do not have a tome. So that's the end of that. Basically, we can sell it for shite loads of money. Ah, that's fucked. I would have liked to have done that because we want money. And now, even though there was a gate here when she arrived, the gate is now gone. Oh, you know what else I forgot to do? Uh, when we picked up this gate, see how it's got the diamond? And this one has the star. We don't have any stars on the board. Uh, this one has the triangle, beg your pardon. See how it's got a triangle on the bottom there? That means we actually get to put this guy back in the box because he also has a triangle. When you close a dimensional gate, all the dimensional symbols associated with that gate get sucked into it. So, yonk, he's gone. He gets back to the monster cup. Anyway, the point is, because we closed the gate after her, before her encounter phase, she actually does have an encounter at the woods. I can draw a card. You blonk. Abruptly, you realize you don't remember how to get back from the woods. Stay here next turn. All right, so we're lost in the woods. That's not very cool. And this guy is at the... Did I send him to the police station? No, I sent him to Velm's Diner. I'm going to have to slightly adjust the size of... See, basically, the way this works is there's all these little script zones that as you drag the tokens through, it uh, registers where you're going through. I'm going to make these a lot smaller eventually, I think, because uh, it doesn't, you don't really need them this big. So when he's over here at the police station, he basically touched the police station, you know, even though he wasn't there, and that's why it was registering wrong. Whatevs, man, a little bit of a look behind the scenes. The point is, he is at uh, Belm's Diner. Click. A young man throws down his apron as he storms out of the kitchen. That does it. I quit. Looking up, Velma yells, What? But where am I going to find a dishwasher on such short notice? If you want, you may make a will minus one check to talk it into giving you the job. If you pass, gain a retainer. Awesome. So his luck, uh, his will is a one. So we have nothing to help with that. We want to do this anyway. So we'll minus one, that's a zero, but we're going to spend a clue and just go for it. Come on. I, I'm, I'm feeling this. Go! Come on, you can do it. Let's zoom out so we can see it rolling. Do it, do it, do it, do it! Ah, boo. Okay. Still worth it. 
And that's that. Okay, that's the end of that. Uh, it is now Mythos time. Your blammo. Okay, so it is a weather effect and it says here, in addition, all weather cards are ignored when drawn. A new card is drawn instead. So we just uh, clear that and draw a new one. Uh, that's interesting. So technically, oh, this is a problem with my mod. So see how... We discarded this one. No, that's the one we discarded. This is the one we had, right? And when it drew drew the drew the card, it automatically replaced this card. But because we're supposed to ignore that, this would have stayed in play. So I've got to figure out a way that when I click Mythos Draw, it doesn't automatically replace the the environments unless I tell it to, because we do want to uh because if if the if, if we drew, see how we draw another card it's another urban environment if this was like a headline or a rumor that other environment should have still been in play so there's a bit of an error going on here whatever so we have uh independent square gets a gate how many gates have we got on the board one two three okay so that's all right Interplanet Square gets a gate. We get two monsters. Oh, it's a Grug and a Shambler. Terrible. Okay. We have circles moving on. I don't think we have any circles, do we? No. Okay, so we've got diamonds and squares moving. We don't have any diamonds. We do have a square, and it is a shambler. Whoa. Now, this is the first time we've seen one of these in this particular game. This is a, a fast monster. Okay, so just looking at the instructions here, as you can see, red just means it moves twice because it's fast. So it's, it's super fast. Okay, and that's pretty much it. Hmm. Is that supposed to be red or orange? I think that's supposed to be red. Yeah, whatever. So it moves twice. That means it moves twice along white. So it is one, two. Okay, what is the effect? Any investigator in a street area at the end of the mythos phase must make a fight zero check. If he fails and the terror level is three or less, he loses one stamina. If he fails the check and the terror level is four or higher, he loses two stamina. And a clue is at the unnameable, which uh, we can actually put a clue there. So we actually have one person in a street. This says nothing about waiting till next turn. So we've got to do this straight away. It's a fight zero check and her fight is one. So we want to pass this or she gets a stamina loss. It's only one stamina at the moment, so it's not too bad. Uh, yeah, it's only one stamina. So we're just going to hit that stamina loss. How frustrating. And this headline was only in play for one turn. So we'll just get rid of that as well. Oops. Boom. Okay. That is the end of that one doing pretty well uh, I don't really know what to do basically we want her we want her to get another gate ASAP and then she'll have three gates we can activate her ability which is a which is actually a, a, a good uh, pass effect and once we do that we can start spending our gate trophies and you know really powering up so this game's about to go into overdrive I should probably, uh, you know, put out a Doom token as well. What do you say? <laughs> Pity about Daisy being delayed. That really screwed me up. Okay, well, that's that. I will see you guys next time.